Pretty much as soon as we arrived in Rocky Mountain, we started seeing a theme developing for the day. And that theme is wildlife. We spotted these bears from our car as soon as we drove into the park. All right, so today we're doing something a little bit different than we've done on any of our previous days uh, in the national parks. We're actually going to be doing a through hike that will start this afternoon. The biggest portion of it will be tomorrow. So we'll camp two nights carrying all of our gear and uh, we'll see how that goes. We've got our bear canister loaded down with all of our food. Um, we've got water sources at both of our campsites tonight from a, from a creek. We got our filter bottles ready to go. So we should be in pretty good shape. Um, it's a first for me. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but mostly excited. Okay. So like Jared said, we only have to hike about two miles to get to our first campsite for the night. So it's not even noon yet. <laughs> we decided to do a little bit of hiking up around Bear Lake before we head to the campsite. Um, so we're doing the Emerald Lake Trail, which is not long. It's like 3.6 miles round trip. And we pass Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, and Emerald Lake. So another Alpine Lake Trail. We're getting ready to go out on our through hike. Let me show you guys what Jared is carrying and then he can show you what I'm carrying. So he's the pack mule because I don't even have an overnight backpack yet. He's got the tent, both the sleeping bags, the food. No water. No water, I've got all the water. But yeah, he's definitely loaded down. And then I've got. Here's Meredith's backpack, pretty loaded down for a for a day pack, yeah. uh, like I say, all the all the water, filter bottles, chairs, uh, clothes, change of clothes. Yeah, um, we're ready to go. Yeah, as you can maybe tell, it's pretty ominous weather, so we're definitely trying to get down the trail and get our tent set up before it starts raining again. A couple of miles onto the Cub Lake Trail, we spotted this bear and her two cubs, so it seems like the lake is probably aptly named. We watched them pretty happily for a while and then noticed some other wildlife starting to emerge. Moose! We saw at least five moose by this little lake. The bears were very aware of the moose, we were also very aware of the bears, and they were also very aware of us. So we all just kind of stood around and made sure everybody was keeping their distance from everybody else. It was pretty uneventful, but a little tense.
Okay, so things didn't go as planned today. Um, we were planning to go in, well, I'm just gonna show you on the map, one sec. We were planning to start our day here at the Fern Lake Trailhead. We parked our car there, cause that's where we're gonna hike back out. And then we hiked down to Cub Lake, down this path a little bit, made that turn, and we probably made it to about here. Sorry, my nails are dirty. I'm camping, whatever. Anyway, um, we got to about right there, and we saw a mama bear and her two cubs. And we watched and watched for a while, and then she went out of sight, and we weren't sure where she was. And we were like, you know what? That makes me really nervous. I think we're gonna go back and go around the other way. So we hiked back up that trail, back up there, some very friendly hikers who were on the trail with us very generously gave us a ride back to Fern Lake Trailhead. So shout out to Stephanie and Sam, y'all are the best. Um, and then we started hiking this way to come around this way to our campground. Unfortunately, we'd made it like maybe half a mile onto this trail when another group of hikers told us there was another bear, bear like 20 feet off the trail. We decided to keep going. We kept our bear spray in hand, but that meant that for the entirety of this trail, the entirety of this trail, all the way to our campsite, we were looking for bears actively the entire time. So essentially what should have been a two and a half mile hike to our campsite ended up being about six miles total um, once we had to backtrack and do the long way in. So it's a lot later than we were planning on, um, but we're here, our tent is set up. We have dinner cooking right now. We're eating our good to go backpacking meals. This is um, a dehydrated meal. If you're looking for one that's pretty clean, doesn't have a lot of additives or preservatives or um, in my case, dairy, gluten, or soy, um, these are really great options. Um, so we're having these for dinner tonight. So the hot water's in there, working on boiling the ingredients right now. Anything to add, Jaren? Uh, for those who are questioning why we went back, uh, the bears were, we lost sight of them actually on the trail. Oh yeah, they had walked onto the trail. Yes, they were, they were on the trail and had walked behind some rocks and some vegetation and uh, I really didn't want to get between a mama bear and her cubs. No, so. thank you. So that's why we turned back then, but then the second time we heard about the bear, we went on because it was just one bear, it was 20 feet off the trail and we never saw it. Um, the, we ran into a lot of people after that who didn't see it, so I think it, I think it's good. I think it, it went away. Um, but yeah, a little bit more exciting day than we were hoping for, to be honest. One more thing we forgot to mention. There were like five moose. Uh, I will show you the clips now, but yeah, there were, how, how many adults was it? There were three. Three adults and two baby moose. Mm -hmm. Moosen. Meese. Ooh. Brian Regan, <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> our first campsite for the first night out on the trail. If you're interested in staying there yourself, this is the Cub Lake Backcountry Campsite in Rocky Mountain National Park. Good morning. We are back on the trail. We're out near Cub Lake and because of our detour yesterday, we took a closer look at the map and we noticed that the south side of the Fern Lake Loop, which is what we intended to do today, is kind of desolate. Um, the north side seems to be where all the lakes are and all the stuff you actually want to see. And also impacted by the fact that we're not carrying our water today. We've just got filter bottles because um, the weight of the water, we didn't want to carry it. Uh, we really need access to water sources. So I think instead of doing the loop, we're just going to do the north side of the loop and then uh, hike it back out. So that's what we're doing this morning. So first stop is the pool. Our first water stop for the day required us to straddle a waterfall in order to reach the stream. When we got to the pool, Jared took the opportunity to rinse out our breakfast dishes so that we could get them more securely into our pack for the day. I took the opportunity to look around.
Our next big stop was Fern Lake. What you eating? Baby food pouch. It's not just for babies, okay? It's got fruit and it's got vegetables and it's refreshing and wet and delightful and it is a great hiking snack. And I just think we need to get over the stigma about people who aren't babies eating baby food because it should be called anybody of any age food. So there. Jared's refilling his water bottle. And I just wanted to emphasize one more time that we are using special bottles that have a filter built in. You should not drink lake or waterfall or river or stream water that is not treated. Uh, just want to be real clear on that. I do not want to be responsible for somebody's parasite. This video doesn't do it justice because this little part of the trail leading up to Odessa Lake was in at least the top five, if not the top three things that we saw on our entire trip. It was something out of a postcard or a picture book or a fantasy novel. I cannot express how gorgeous this part of the trail was. Last stop before heading to our campsite for the second night was Odessa Lake. This lake is known for elk sightings, but usually that happens more around sunrise and unfortunately we were getting there in the early to late afternoon. So we didn't see any elk, but we did notice that there is a campsite right next to the lake. So I think next time we do a backcountry hike through this area, we will get that campsite so we can see the sunrise over the lake and maybe catch some elk as well. This was at our campsite for the second night, Arch Rocks. I don't have much footage of it because I'll be honest, we got there at four, we ate dinner at five, and I was asleep by six. The next day we finished the last mile and a half or so of trail and then hit the road back down to Colorado Springs where we had dinner at one of my favorite restaurants, The Rabbit Hole. Garden of the Gods and now we're in Colorado Springs or at least me and the bottom half of Jared's face is our um and we stopped by the rabbit hole for dinner and then um we stopped at Wild Goose Meeting House for some coffee and now we're going to drive back to Amarillo so that we just have a quick nine hour drive home tomorrow. After one last night in the Amarillo Walmart parking lot we made our way home to Houston. Thank you guys so much for following along with our adventures and I hope that you'll stay tuned because our next adventure has already started.